everyone, this is Christy Taylor from the Art Anthology Dream Team. Today I played around with a new technique. I wanted to create a marbled background using the beautiful colors in the Art Anthology line. So I created this little set of three canvases to hang on my kitchen wall. The backgrounds are beautiful, vibrant, and the colors are so marbled and pretty together. Look at all that color. Isn't that just gorgeous? So let's get started. I had these three canvases that I had designed something on previously. I wasn't happy with that design, so I decided to repurpose the canvases. I covered them with gesso and allowed the gesso to dry. And then I squirted on some matte medium, which I spritzed with a little water to help it move easier. I used a spatula to spread the matte medium around. Once the matte medium was spread out nicely, I set it aside for just a minute to mix some colors. This is Art Anthology's Buttercream, which is a gorgeous blendable color. I added some matte medium to the buttercream to help it be a little more fluid, and then spread it onto my canvases with my Princeton Catalyst tool. Just spread it out, kind of like icing a cake. Make sure it goes all the way up to the edges. A nice little layer of matte medium and buttercream paint. Next, I used the end of my catalyst tool to put on some dots of Art Anthology's Fluorite, which is one of the gemstone colors. These colors are very intense, highly pigmented, and beautiful. Next, I'm adding some Kenyan Copper, which is one of the Sorbet colors. Then I'm using my Princeton Catalyst tool to spread the paints. We're just kind of creating a nice little marbled look and spreading the paints out so they can blend together a little bit. I did that all over all three canvases. And then I needed a little bit more so I kept going. I didn't want them to blend too much because then you tend to get kind of a muddy color that doesn't look all that great. I wanted each color to have its own definition, but still be blended with the next color beside it. All the way up to the edge on each canvas. Then spritz it with a little water to help it move. This little spritz bottle used to be hairspray, but it works great for spritzing water on my projects now. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Now let's spread on some more of the fluorite. <clears throat> Again, this fluorite has been mixed with matte medium to make it more fluid. some of the Kenyan Copper. I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors. And use the end of your catalyst tool to draw some little swirly designs. These designs really won't show up later, but this does help the colors blend together. It gives you that beautiful marbled background. I carried some of it up to the edge so it would drip over. Then I used my finger to spread out the hard edges. I didn't want a lot of that white background to show through. I 
Now I'm using the leftover Kenyon copper to paint around the edge of each canvas. I love Princeton brushes. They're so smooth and give you a nice painted finish. Now I'm dripping on some of the Art Anthology's new Mink Shimmering Inks. These sort of react with the matte medium and create a beautiful effect. I don't even know what you would call it. But in the end, you'll see some close-ups so you can see where it reacted with the, the uh, matte medium. Drip, 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 drip. Now I'm taking the same shimmering inks and going all the way around the edge of each canvas. This will kind of shadow it in and um, give it a little more definition. All the way around each canvas, and allowing it to drip over the sides. Just keep going until each canvas is outlined. <clears throat> now I have some fluid acrylic paint. And I'm just splattering that on, and you can see it spread into the matte medium. And it gives this really cool effect where it all kind of bleeds out and blends in, and it's just really cool. It was so much fun, I just kept splattering because it was just really cool to watch it react. I know, I'm kind of silly. But I like that kind of thing. Next, while all the paints were still nice and wet, I started adding some beads because I wanted a focal point. So I used some pearls that I had in my stash and some beads on string to create flowers. Cute little daisy, huh? Now as the paint dries, these beads will be stuck into the paint, so they're not going to come off. Just keep going until you have flowers on every canvas. And then use the beads that are on string to make your stems. I also had some beads that were shaped like leaves, so that was perfect. So I stuck those in there as leaves, and then later on I had to color over them a little bit to help them show up more. You'll see some of those in the close-ups. And then I sprinkled on some seed beads all over the background. This adds a little more texture and a little more shine. And you know, you just can't get enough bling. And that's all there is to it. The last thing I did was add just a little more matte medium over top. And this helped those colors blend in together and created that gorgeous marbled background. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. Please stop by my blog at christytaylor.blogspot.com and also go to artanthologyinc.com for daily inspiration 
and to get your own art anthology goodies. You know you want them, and you want them all, because they're so much fun. Just look at that gorgeous color. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Peace out.